Hi everybody, this is Michelle with Suncatcher Craft Eyes and Happiness Shop on eBay. And I just want to show you a few things that I've listed recently. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to make this as quick as I can because I have a cold and I don't want to be coughing in your ear. Um, but let's start with this guy. This is, I'm in love with this guy. I really am. His, his face is so happy. And I was a little confused at first. I didn't know how to look him up. Don't you love that belly? Um, I wasn't sure how to look him up because I didn't know where he was from. I knew it was Asia, but I wasn't sure exactly. And so I asked the thrifting board and someone said Philippines. That didn't, there was nothing like this in under Philippines wood carvings. But then I remembered, see this, this bag, this is a satchel on his back. Um, that and the hat gave me the clue because I love Korean dramas and I think this guy is Korean. He has the Korean hat. I think it's called a band grip. I forgive my pronunciation. I'm not going to even try to pronounce it right. And <clears throat> back in the Joseon dynasty days, which is like hundreds of years ago, um, Korean travelers used to bundle all of their goods in a piece of cloth and then roll it up and tie it around their shoulders or around one shoulder in their waist, kind of like this. And so that's kind of what gave me the clue. And I think he is Korean. Also, the fact that he has smiling eyes, see how his eyes are like almost upside down use. So I think, <clears throat> I think I'm right. Anyway, he was really dusty when I got him. So I cleaned him up with some um, wood polish oil. I can't remember if it was linseed oil or some kind of oil anyway. And he turned out gorgeous. Um, if you know any Asian languages, this is the sticker on the bottom of his base. He is solid wood. Um... His only flaw, let me see if I can show you, is this tiny little chip right there. And it barely goes into the wood at all. So what I'm doing with him is I'm pricing him at, I think, $245, $285. Because I really like him and I don't want to let him go. That's what I did with my AM FM radio, my vintage one. The sound quality was so amazing that I priced it high. And someone actually paid it. So that's what I'm doing with him because I kind of want to keep him. Um, and my, some of the tags that I'm using are Joseon, Choseon, K-Drama, and then I have Band Grip because that's the kind of hat that he's wearing. So <clears throat> if there's anybody like me who loves K-Dramas out there, who loves period K-Dramas, um, this is the piece for them. So... Next is a vintage card holder. I didn't find anything that looked like this. It's very ornate. I, it, I don't, I think it's like silver colored metal. I don't think it's silver, but um, it has alligator clips on the back of each of the three prongs. And because it's so ornate and I couldn't find anything like it, I priced it at $49.99 and we'll see what happens. Next, I have another art to wear piece. <clears throat> this is made by a brand called Curio. And the reason I'm calling it art to wear, I'm very particular about what I call art to wear because I don't want people to just come to my listing and see, oh, that's not art to wear. What are you talking about? And then they go away. There's no point. If it isn't art to wear, there's no point using the tag. So this, the reason I'm calling it art to wear is because this is really, really chunky um, yarn that's used in different kinds, in different colors. It goes from like a taupe to a gray to a brown. The buttons are huge. And if you'll notice right there, there are snaps behind the buttons. So this is just a really funky piece. And I thought it deserved the art to wear tag. 
and it's also a different color completely on the back. So that's at $48.99, and we'll see what happens with that. Next, Funko Pops. I just made a video, and I'll link it down below, um, about my haul about the, of these. I got them at a local surplus store for like five bucks a piece. Uh, the bells were a little more. And these were going for the three princesses. These are Walmart exclusives, and they have glitter on their dresses. And these were going for $58 for the set of three, um, even last week. <clears throat> but now people are pricing them like all three for $12. I, it's ridiculous. So I put $44.95 and we'll see what happens. If I have to price them lower, I will, but I don't want to. This was a cool um, vintage wool newsboy hat made by Donegal of Ireland. And Donegal also made hats for L.L. Bean back in the day. And this was before that. So I don't know how it's going to do, but I priced it according to the market and we'll see what happens. Really cool hat though. Nice colors in it. And it has the vintage tag, Hannah's hats. And in, I know this is blurry. Um, when it's for L.L. Bean, it will say handcrafted exclusively for L.L. Bean by Hannah's hats. And I think the L.L. Bean helps it sell. All right, this is a cross stitch kit <clears throat> that I picked up um, in my local surplus store for $5. And I'm pricing it, I priced it a little high compared to the other sellers because this is a, normally goes for $44.95. So we'll see what happens. I can always lower the price and I can, oh, I don't have best offer, yes I do. And I can always take a best offer. So we'll see what happens. These are the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. No offense to people who like them. These are called Sleevey Wonders. They are sleeves. That's all. See the black lace on her arms? That's all they are. There's no body. There's no chest. There's no front. There's no back. They're just sleeves. And it's to make, it's to cover up a little bit. I've already sold one package for $32. Um, they were ivory colored. And these are Missy Small. So, yeah, I never heard of these before, but look out for this brand because they sell really well. I guess they normally go for like $42. So I put $36 and we'll see what happens. And I do have two watchers, so that's cool. Next is another cross stitch kit. This one's really pretty. Um, and $34.99, kind of. There are a lot of $18, $20 sellers, but we'll see what happens. Um, and I also put Spanish, Romantic, and Telenovela in the title because a lot of people who watch telenovelas also craft while they're watching telenovelas. So we'll see what happens. Next one is another cross-stitch kit, $34.99, two little kids in the rain. Um, not much to say about this, same thing. And I have best offer on there. This surprised the heck out of me. <clears throat> new, well, like in really, really good condition, not new because it's vintage. Um, in the bag with the flash, leather bag with the instruction books. I thought, oh my gosh, I'll make hundreds on this. No, it goes between like 25 and 35. Really surprised though. Um, next some Nike shoes, not much to say, they're Nikes. I'm asking $28.99, we'll see what happens. Um, this one I wanted to mention because, um, Bobo of Nordstrom's, well, it's not of Nordstrom's, it's sold in Nordstrom's. These blouses normally go between $25 and $35, even used, pre-owned. So I just wanted to bring up that, um, brand. So you could keep that in the back of your mind. I know I'm going fast. I'm sorry. I just, I want to get this done before I cough again. Um, and old media, especially new old media sells pretty well. Um, and I already have two watchers on that. So that's good. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could have looked at the title. Wait, there are eight and I put six. Oh, I need to revise this. I'll do that later. I won't do it while you're watching. See, even I make mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
all the time. Okay. Um, fine china is always good to um, search. Do a little search while you're out thrifting. See if it comes up as worth anything. Um, Bond Fine China is one brand, and this is a set of two teacups and saucers that I'm selling for $18.99. And I got these for less than $2, so we'll see what happens on that one. I'm listing a lot of, as you know, I own Suncatcher Craft Eyes. And what I'm doing, I used to have a clearance section on my website. I still do, but... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I wanted to see what would happen if I, if I listed them on eBay. Just to get to a wider audience, you know. Because I know a lot of the eyes on here are from China. Um, yeah, anyway. Mine aren't. I'll just say that much. So, yeah. Um, if you visit my store, you'll see craft eyes and craft noses sections. This one is a pack of 13 pair of radiance colors. They're uh, two layers of color, so they're really, really bright and pretty colors. And this is a Simply Vera Wang, like a tuxedo style ribbed sweater. Doesn't go for as much as I, th I thought. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't go for as much as I thought it would, but that's all right. It's still, what do you call it? Um, I don't know. It's still money anyway. These are size 13 uh, flat sandals that I found. They're bigger than my feet. I wear a size 12. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think that these will go pretty quickly. I've already had an offer, low ball offer, but still traffic. So we'll see what happens on there. And lastly... Um, I'm not selling glitter eyes on my website for the next seven or eight months because they don't do well traveling in the heat. So if you want to find glitter eyes, you might find that I've listed some on eBay. I still have a few left. These are multicolor glitter. <coughs> I like these a lot. Um, and that's it. So I hope some of these helped you. I hope you learned a little bit. Um, I know videos like this um, really help me to learn. So that's it for now and I'll talk to you later. Bye.